Hey guys, today we are going to see about NestJS with Stripe integration. First of all, we need to set up a basic NestJS application. So you just go with the NestJS documentation. This is the link, this is the URL. You just do npm install NestCLI, create a new sample project. Okay, uh, I just I just have created a sample NestJS project. Once you created a sample project, you will get controller file, module file, service file, main TS file. This is the main uh, page. This is nothing but index.ts. It's more like index.js, okay? Both are same. It's running on a port of 3000. This is the basic default port. If you need to change, we can change it, okay? Uh, I'm just going with the controller. I think, I hope you guys know the controller file, what are the things uh, here. I just give a basic uh, thing. This is spec.ds, this is this is for internal testing, uh, which means for unit testing, all those things we can use this. This this one is spe specifically for controller, and then, th and then this controller file directly go with service file. This module.ts is file for controlling n number of controller files. This is the sample flow. Okay, now we are going to here, controller. So before that, you guys need to create a Stripe application which means a Stripe login you need to create. Stripe is an open source one, but it's a paid one. For now, we can go with the test mode. Test mode is for free. We can, we guys uh, can use test mode. Now I'm going to show you about how we can integrate our Stripe to our basic application. So once you created a Stripe application, Stripe login, you will get those things in a home page. You just go with the home. Here you will be able to see public key and secret key. Secret key is the one we guys are used to communicate with our backend. So I'm just going with our backend. Here, what we need to do before that, I'm just uh, showing here what, what is happening actually. This is the get one. Hello method we are having. I'm just clicking this. We are going to service hello world. So I'm just seeing here this uh, local port of we are, we are running is 3000. It's a basic one. I'm just giving a request. Hello world came. So application is working fine. So what I'm going to hear is that instead of this hello world, we need to go with our Stripe one. So before before that, I'm just so uh, I'm just I just want to tell you something about the Stripe. Before you guys are entering into Stripe, you just go with Stripe documentation. This is the free one. In this Stripe documentation, they will provide the end-to-end -end API configuration, all those things. Uh, what we need to do, what we are going to achieve is that we are, we are going to make a payment. This is the one, this is the final output we are going to do. Here, uh, what you all will see is that your email ID, your card, your, and then your card details, your name, country, region, all those things. This is the final achievement we are going to do. Using this stripe, we can make a payment and we can transfer an amount. So this $4 we are going to pay for a quantity of two. For a quantity of two, $4, which means each one price is $2. This is the one we are going to achieve. Uh, we can make this, uh, actually this is the free checkout session in the sense, uh, this UI part is given by Stripe. This uh, we, What we need to do is that we just simply give a quantity, price, customer ID, product ID, all those things. That UI, whole UI design is given by our Stripe. So, two things are there. We can customize their our own UI, UI or else we can use their own UI. So, I'm just choosing the second one. We are using their own UI part. This checkout session one, what the name they are saying is the session checkout or checkout session. Okay. See, uh, if you see here, they will they will provide a, what is the use of ID, what is cancel URL, what is client uh, reference ID, all those things. They will provide detail, customer email, what all things are required, what all the things are non required, like that. And also they will give a AP response data also. This is the sample format of AP response data they will provide to you. So what we are going to do, we are coming here. See, uh, already I have I have things. So I just taken this one. I'm just copying the stripes. See, this is the one. 
uh, you guys need to install npm install stripe. So here we need to give a secret ID what we copied previously. Uh, okay, I will copy you. I will copy in front of you. This is the secret one. I am just copying this and paste it here. Now, nothing we need to do. Simply this using this uh, secret key, it will it will communicate indirectly. So nothing we have to do. Now we are going to do a checkout session. I'm just copy pasted the whole checkout session. So actually it's not copied. Just copying again. Do undo. I just pasted. So what actually we are facing some issues that I think okay, that's it. So for await we are facing some issues. So if you are using await, we need to include async. So this is the URL we are going to, this is the API uh, basic one, Stripe checkout session. We are creating a Stripe checkout session, this line items. Okay, this line items, wow, this is mostly as dynamic. If you are going, if you are giving a, we are creating an API. So we, do, we don't know what price and also what quantity we are creating, you know, it's not, we are not able to do every time a static one, we are not able to change every time. So we are implementing in a dynamic format. So this price and then quantity, this price and quantity we are taking from a dynamic one. So quantity is a count, count you are going to give in your backend dynamically you are going to give. So far now, I'm just giving a quantity of three. So price, the price list should be dynamic one. Whenever uh, admin is expecting to change to dynamic, change to change the value, we are allowing them to change and also that should be updated in our Stripe payment list. So I we just figured out, I just figured out one more thing. You just go to product. In Stripe, you just go to product, you just create an add product. Once you create an add product, it will wait. I will show the more. I have created a sample pro product. It will give a product ID. So by default, I'm giving a dollar of two in two. It will give a detailed view about what this product where you used when you used all those things. Wait, let me go back. I just create a new product for you. I'm just creating it. This product. Nothing we need to do. See. Standard pricing, packaging, customer choose price. We just go with standard pricing. That should be a $3 for now in Indian rupees. This is a one time, this is not a recursing, right? So I just created a one time and just save the product. Uh, it's taking a time, just a minute, guys. Yeah, our product is ready. So we just copy this product ID. Paste the product ID, everything is fine. So it's asking a customer. So before doing a payment, we need to create an account for a particular customer. If you are having a thousands of customer, you need to create a thousands customers ID individually. So what we need to do is that you just go to customer here. Uh, see here, I already created a new customer. So you just go with a new, add a new customer. Name is Prime. Email ideas. And email.com. I'm adding a new customer. I have created a customer too. You just go inside. You will see this customer. This is the unique customer ready. We can change it to alter. I will change it later. So I'm just going here. I'm just replacing my customer ID. So the next one is success URL and we are seeing a cancel URL. What is success URL? Cancel URL is nothing but when a payment is done successfully, which means 
this payment is done successfully where it need to redirect suppose if payment fails where it need to redirect that's the two thing so what we are giving one it's success it need to redirect it need to update to our application so i'm just changing this to currently what we are using we are using a local host if you guys are using a production you just go with https i'm just going with http local host colon 4200 it's not a 4200 it's a 3000 same as yeah everything is fine it's causing some issue what is because we removed the string directly right that's the one it's causing an issue so our application is fine so i'm running this in development mode so what i'm going to do is that same thing i'm just trying to hit that api what happened actually we are not getting anything any response oops something has happened mm, okay let me restart our server our server is restarting it's running in a watch mode oh okay understood the problem the problem is nothing but we have not returned anything so we are calling this fun function but we are not yet returned anything that's the one so return session what's up guys yeah we got we got a response so uh, as i told previously in this response they are given an uh, uh, unique identification of this particular payment check out and then the term it would be we used to check out session and then the amount of total of 900 amount total of 900 automatic tax we can enable tax also see this the cancel url all those things they have written you guys have see this are all the customer details if we are giving you further more details it will give a additional name phone tax all those things customer email null what are the things we need we can add it so just go down going down see we are seeing success url also see this is the url they are given a their own ui part of url so you just copy that one see this is the existing one so i'm just pasting here what happened uh the problem the problem is double quotes also we have copied yeah it's working fine now it will take some second what happened maybe see number quotes that's the problem mm -hmm. this is the one i have just copied i pasted again see we got an ap we got we got a new ipod yeah uh, we got an we got a new ipod this is the test card uh, we we can give four to 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 if you guys you don't you guys uh, didn't know you just go here go to the ap documentation the ap documentation see this is the one here we will find the test card all those things in number of test cards are there before that once the payment is success we 
it will redirect our application. So for that, for that we need to create an API. So here we are just having an only one. Just copy it. So that also should be get it. How to lend? Pay success action. Here, payment success. So here, what we need to go with that whole thing. If we are going with the rest, it will give a whole thing. And this is the one we just copy here. Let's paste this. So here, what we need to go, we need to copy this. We need to paste this. So here in the get, as that we are going to create a new one that is for session. Success session. This should be session. So here, what you need to pause, you need to pause that whole thing. And just pause this rest. You need to change this to here. See, everything is fine. So, for checking purpose, I'm just giving you a lock. So, I'm given a wrong thing. Yeah, that's it, guys. So I'm given a photo photo, give one can give anything, zero two three two thirty two. The name of the cards will be frame. Countries will be India. I'm just doing a payment. So I'll just do no thanks. Payment has been successful. And it's returning back to our application. See here, we got a console. We got a whole response. See, in this response, we will get all those things. Like, what are the payment we did? What is CTS payment success or failure? See, response or drought. All those things we will get. So if you guys need to create, so this is for UI part. If you are, if you guys are planning to do here, you just redirect into here, and then this will this will redirect to your index.html page. Like that, you guys can do all those things. The payment method, product, balance. So what I told, we need to go with the dynamic product, like that I told, right? So here, if you're going here. If you are changing the product, the product will change automatically. That's it, guys. I think it's a very interesting one. So in future, I will add a lot of things to here. Okay, bye-bye.